Hello and welcome to the Battling Barrow and another terrain crafting how to type video. In this one, we are heading back out to the wilderness and we are going to make some swamp tiles that look like this. Um, and we're going to try something different to make the actual goopy, thick, murky water. So let's get crafting. The first thing we're going to want to do is build some basic tiles. I'm not going to cover this here as it's been done many times in other videos. It's effectively uh, sheet of foam, in my case 10mm XPS, glued on to some chipboard. But I need to get some sort of divots in here that I can put some water effects later on for the swamp. And for this, I'm going to use a uh, wallpaper stripper. And I'm going to do is turn it off while I'm speaking, is carefully melt the foam. Do this in a well ventilated area. Hopefully you can see that sort of bending, melting down, but I'll keep going. Uh, yeah, that's what I want to do. So I'm going to have some play areas here, some sort of swamp bits there, so I can have a path to go through. Uh, and what it does, it sort of hardens it as well. So even there, it's a little bit shallow. So yeah, I'll do some more. With that done, just give it all a quick base coat in brown. Now it's time to flock it. So I've got various different flocks here. Some greens, some browns, some olives, some leaf mixture, burnt static grass. I'm just gonna apply these in a random fashion. There's no right or wrong for this. So the first thing to do is apply some glue. do is once I've covered I don't want total coverage I want some, some of the brown to show through but I'm going to tap it off I'm going to keep this put it into a different tub and we can use that in more swamp tiles but that's sort of the look I really want to go for it's really muddy patchy yucky look this isn't as pleasant as the other tiles I've made so yeah, I'm kind of pleased with that. That looks almost exactly what I want it to look like at this stage. So with the flocking done, 
we've got to do the water stage. Now, you can, of course, use resin like everyone else does. Yeah, that's boring. You can do what I do, what I've done before, and use uh, knock water droplets. They're cool. Uh, they're really foam safe as well. Um, resin, I'm not a big fan of. Everyone uses it. It's boring. It tends to eat foam and goes horribly wrong and can be quite dangerous. So that's why I normally go for the knock water droplets. But it's still a problem. If you remember when we made out uh, sewer tiles here, it's probably not going to show up on camera. There we go. That's good for you. Even though I've tinted it sort of this brown, you can see that it's still see through. Now, I didn't really want that for the swamp. I wanted this to be thick, murky, stagnant water. It's not even really water. Um, you know, I wanted it to be marshy. And so, for our uh, ocean tiles we made, I bought some uh, Mod Podge gloss I just used as do the water effects and give it a sheen. I had loads of that left, so I thought, let's try and use that. So what I did was, is I uh, did a test first of all, uh, because I'm not crazy, put it into a little pot, but I wanted it green, so I'm going to use goblin green because uh, after my quest for the goblin green paint, I have so much goblin green on various different manufacturers, so I'd use that, so I'm using this coat of arms version of it, but also I'm going to add in some, as it seems to fit in, uh, Nostalgia 88. Uh, swamp brown. I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to pour it in. Now, my thinking behind this is when I melted it using the hot, uh, the tile using the hot uh, air gun, uh, it got this nice bumpy texture and I thought maybe I can use that. I wanted to see that sort of come through. Resin and the water effects would just sit on top of that. So um, where I knew, knew the uh, Mod Podge would sort of soak in a little bit or shrink into it, not soak, shrink into a little bit. And hopefully we'd see some of that. But as I'm doing this, I still wasn't too sure. As I teased, if you've watched the short videos I put up as a sort of a, a prologue, a, a tease, a, a trailer for these um, tiles. But I poured it in, I did. Now, because it's glue, it comes with another advantage. We can put some reeds right into it and it'll hold it in place. So uh, I've got some long grass I cut down and added that in and if I can quickly find it, I bet I won't be able to. Uh, one thing I had left over from making the tribal huts was the offcuts of the mat. So what I did was chop some of them down, which I haven't shown on camera, uh, and just added them in as well as long grass and left it to dry for a good 24 hours, ideally 48 hours. And we ended up with this and I am super stoked with this. Um, it just goes show people sell you, you can't do things or use products to do certain things. Mod Podge or this kind of thing, thumbs up. Don't listen to the naysayers. Uh, you know, be experimental, I like it. Uh, let's have a look at it all set up. I'm gonna do a mixture of me setting something up, just filming it now and it being used recently in a game. Before we look up, look at the uh, reveal, uh, I'd like to take time uh, to thank you all for watching and getting this far, uh, liking if you've liked the video, but I'd even like to thank you even if you hit the dislike button because it all helps uh, with the engagement. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Uh, it's not a professional channel in any shape or form. It's normally just me waffling on and doing things and stumbling through life. And yeah, I put hopefully put the U into YouTube if that makes sense. Um, and if you are a subscriber, I'd like to take time to thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. It means a lot. Uh, it's getting a bit tough at the moment to be a YouTuber. I don't know why. It just seems to be uh, YouTube's doing everything to uh, break a, the creative spirit of their algorithms and uh, ad revenues, and which I use to actually buy things for this so my wife doesn't moan at me um but yeah it's getting a bit tough so uh i'm grateful you're sticking with me i'm not too sure what i'm going to build next i've got a certain few projects at the moment i'm reacting to my DD campaigns and what have you and different uh, different things i'm building for that i think i've got something in mind uh yeah you have to stay and sit and watch the channel to see what i'm going to come up with but let's have a look at the grand reveal and until the next video guys, stay safe, take care, bye bye.